Let me put white holes on the map. Back in the 1970s, when the mathematics of black holes was being explored and formulated, people noticed that the equations that give you a black hole have a legitimate opposite solution to them. So let me test your ninth grade math knowledge. You ready? Okay. Okay, what's the square root of nine? Three. So what's three times three? Nine. Negative three times negative three. Also nine. So nine has two solutions, doesn't it? <laughs> square root of nine is negative three and positive three. So some questions in science, the mathematics of them reveal that there are two answers that are completely authentic and legitimate. And when people were studying black holes, a second solution emerged. That was everything a, a black hole is except the opposite of that. So things only ever came out of this space. So it, was, it would be white if you were to look for it in the universe. So they said, let's look for these things. And people thought maybe quasars, which are very bright distant objects in the universe, maybe those are the white hole versions of black holes. And then they said, we a white hole and a black hole, maybe they're connected. And this was the introduction of a wormhole. Mm. A wormhole would connect a white hole to a black hole. So we looked for the properties of a white hole. Quasars did not satisfy those properties, and uh, we kind of gave up on them. So no one's looking for white holes anymore.